Google Imagen 3 is live. It is live on Google Gemini. If you remember what happened to the last image generation that came on Gemini, you would pretty much appreciate that they decided to put the latest algorithm on gemini.google.com. You can right away go test this video, like whatever the prompts that we are trying, and it is literally live. It's quite surprising as a matter of fact that in 2024, when companies actually launch something and uh, when they make an announcement, I'm quite appreciating Google. And also as part of this video, I'm going to compare some of the prompts with Gemini and also with Flux. So you can tell me in the comments, which one do you prefer? Because I found it quite hard to make a decision whether Gemini is or a Google Gen Image Gen 3 is better or Flux Dev is better. So I'm going to go ahead and then uh, show you a couple of things. First of all, what is this thing? So there are a bunch of announcements. I'm not going to go over all those things. The most important thing that I care about is that Image Gen 3, uh, when Google launched Image Gen 3, I guess it was like one of the earliest models, uh, image generation models that could do text rendering. It was amazing. It was uh, top notch. It was brilliant and seems like that brilliance is available in the hands of all the users who could access Gemini. The question is whether this is more brilliant than everything else in the market. Let's test it out. They've got a couple of prompts here, as you can see here. And we are going to test out these prompts on uh, Flux and then see. Only catch here is that though, I'm going to test it on Flux uh, Dev, not the high, the biggest, the largest version of Flux, which is not available. So I'm going to test it against the open weights model, but it is non-commercial. The reason I'm testing it against Flux is primarily because I can train LoRa on Flux. Next, how do you access it? So the easiest way for you to access it, go to gemini.google.com and then say create or generate. So these are some of the trigger words that you have to use. Google has been very clear about it. So you have to enter a prompt and after you enter a prompt, you can ask for it to create or generate an image. So whatever you want to mention, just mention it here and just prefix it with generate or create. And what kind of images that you want? Um, you can say either draw, generate or create. So you have to add two things. One is a visual description. The second one is the image style of it. Okay. Uh, so if you're used to stable diffusion, uh, you would be pretty much clear about it. One interesting thing that Google has also promised is that you can generate text along with images. I mean, honestly, this is one of the things that they mentioned during Gemini is that Gemini, because it was a truly multimodal system, you could uh, interleave images with text. I'm not sure how they're achieving it now, but that's one possibility that we're going to check today. So let's go to gemini.google.com and I'm going to go ahead with the default prompt of Flux One Dev, a tiny astronaut hatching from an egg on the moon. This looks beautiful, impeccable. I want to go the same prompt, create an image of a tiny astronaut hatching from an egg on the moon. Uh, this is what I've got. Um, the egg is good, but the astronaut, I'm not sure, but also it is more instruction following, I would say, because the astronaut is too tiny. While in this case, uh, the astronaut is not tiny. The egg is tiny. So I'm not sure like how to make the trade off. I'm not sure which model is good, but this is what we have got. The second one I'm going to test is uh, the animated image of a tiny dragon hatching from an egg in a sunlight meadow surrounded by curious glowing butterflies, vibrant color, detail scales. So as you can see here, so the first part of the prompt actually says you want an animated image should be a tiny dragon once again hatching from an egg in a sunlight meadow. So there should be sunlight. It's a meadow surrounded by curious uh, glowing butterflies. So butterflies are literally glowing, vibrant colors and detailed uh, scales. So I'm going to try out the same prompt here. And uh, this is what I got. So the butterflies are glowing, not so much, but uh, the tiny dragon is tiny and it is quite beautiful. And I think it is a uh, vibrant color. Uh, there are some decent scales over there. And uh, the sunlit meadow, sun, did I read sunlight? Sunlit meadow is good. So I like this. Uh, it's not as 
exact instruction following us what Gemini is, but this is good. I like it. But in terms of pure image quality, had I seen this first, I would have said Gemini is better in this particular case. So let's try out another image, an image of a ball gown made of paper napkins in an elegant showroom. So if you see this image, this is an image of a ball gown made of paper napkins. Does it look like paper napkins? Kind of it, it, it kind of looks like paper napkins. So I'm going to go ahead and then try out the same image, image of a ball gown made of paper napkins in an elegant showroom. And this is what I got. The image is good. I don't mistake the image here, but does it look like a paper napkin? That's my question. I don't find it exactly like paper napkin, but quite a zoomed out picture. The image is good. So I can't complain, but once again, the Gemini one is what I feel is closer to what the prompt is saying. I, I did not test this. So I'm going to test this live a photorealistic image of a breathtaking Mount Vista. Um, copy this. Um, copying this should be like so easy, but I, I don't know why these guys have made it so difficult for me to copy this thing. Okay, let me go copy this prompt here. Expand it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I copied finally. Thank goodness. I know how to use inspect tools. I'm going to go here, duplicate this. This is flux one dev, not Schnell dev. So I'm going to just say a photorealistic image of all the details. Let's go ahead and then read the prompt. A photorealistic image of a breathtaking mountain vista with jack peaks and snow capped summits. Bathed in the warm glow of setting sun, dramatic clouds painted in vibrant hues. I'm not going to read the list of the one because it sounds like a poem. But uh, now the image is being generated. Uh, we can see some details over here. So what kind of details do we have got? The, Im the shadows are good. Um, so which resembles the sun is setting. And you have got the details like the long shot of the image. It's not just the front of the image. The long shot of the image is nice. The rugged landscape is nice. The long shadows being casted are nice. So we have got the one. Um, once again, I like the image. The image is not bad. Do I have enough shadows uh, like what I have here? Um, maybe uh, in this particular case, at least I wouldn't say Gemini is like drastically better, but it's good. It's a good um, image in this particular case. Once again, this is something that I could not figure out whether it is good or not. These are the prompts so far Google has given and then we just like believed Google and then went ahead with that. And we of course obviously know that Flux is really good with text. So the, for this particular image, at least I believe that Flux and Google Gemini would be the same. Now what we are going to do is we're going to take one of the recently popular trending Flux prompt from um, from Stable Diffusion Reddit. And then we are going to use it with uh, with Gemini. So I'm going to just go here. I'm not sure if it will actually generate because it's a bit controversial. Uh, it doesn't do generate a photo of blurry vintage black try input um, a young female. Shh, that's it. Uh, this is I just said generate a photo of instead of photo. I said photo. I hope it understands a blurry vintage image. Okay, so image generation of people is coming soon to Gemini advanced. So that means Google also wants you to pay it's $20 so that you can generate image of people. So let's try give it a one more shot. Okay, generate a photo of a happy couple. I guess couple is a human in this particular case. And uh, I'm not sure if it's going to generate once again, it's not going to generate because you cannot generate people with free version of Google Gemini, you have to subscribe to Gemini advanced. Even though Google just says one thing, which is uh, they are not going to allow you to create these kind of images, which obviously I think nobody's going to use internet to create. But even if you were to create human images, then you have to go subscribe for Gemini advanced. Cool. Now, finally, one test. Uh, this is a prompt that they gave. Uh, I kind of liked what uh, Google had done here. There is a huge improvement between image and two and image and three. 
so i wanted to see if uh, flux can do this so i went ahead and did with flux and flux is good i mean if you do not see image in 3 flux is good but when i put this side to side uh, i i don't i i can't say flux is good in this case but once again what i'm trying with flux is the flux dev model which is um, the open weights model i don't know what is the highest level of a flux model is from so that model necessarily could be much better than this and i'm not testing it with that so technically speaking um, i'm not comparing it with the best model i can do that separately but my intention here is to say okay if you were to make a trade off uh, between image gen 3 and flux 1 dev the reason why dev open weights i can do lora um, i can customize i can generate humans i can do a lot of things what will you choose let me know but before i let you go i am going to ask it to generate an image uh, generate a youtube thumbnail where a coder named one little coder is making gemini image gemini image gen image gen 3 videos in the midnight when it is all dark and gloomy okay i'm going to give the same one i hope it generates i don't i don't want it to say that i'm not going to do it because you know it's human youtube thumbnail okay i'm just going to say youtube thumbnail the same exact same prompt and we are going to come it, seriously i mean google this is what you could come up okay uh, generate more i'm going to see i hope at least it gives my name um, otherwise i have to say that oh, oh my goodness i can't generate these images enter a new prompt flux i i uh, i believe that you would at least help me um, satisfy my um, ego generating like a text with one little coder on it please don't disappoint me flux i would say that you are the best please okay it this also did not so maybe there is a mistake in my prompt i guess uh, so i can pretty much understand let me know which one do you like but go to gemini.google.com and uh, try out the image and three as long as it's there before elon musk tweets about it and google takes it down and everybody jumps on google see you on the video happy prompting